Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I did it again. I bought more plants. Um, I'm going to show you guys the plants and some other things I picked up. A few gardening items. I picked up some stuff at Dollar Tree and some home decor from Walmart. But I'm going to start here and show you the new plants I picked up for my container gardening. So this first one is called Hot Labellia. It's from Walmart and it was, I think, $4. I don't have the receipt with me, but... Here's the card it comes with. It's heat tolerant and it likes full sun. This one's an annual. And there's the card. This next one is a variation of lavender. It's called fern leaf lavender. I'm going to try and go in close on the leaves so you can see they're not the traditional lavender shape. And this one smells like oregano. So if you don't like the soapy type lavender smell you may like this one and where I live this is only going to be an annual um, if you live in a warmer zone I think it could be perennial too but it likes full sun and that is not focusing um, this one came from Home Depot it was $3.98 and it comes in one of those pots that you can just plant directly in the soil you don't have to take it out of the plastic container or anything and then I just picked up a terracotta pot to hold it. This next one is from Walmart. It was $2.88 and it's Ivy. This one says it's an annual, which I don't really understand because I have Ivy that grows along the side of my house and it just keeps coming back and it just grows out of control. So it seems like if you don't want it to grow, it's going to stay forever. Um, because I want this to grow, it's only going to live one year or so. But there is the information for this one. And then this last one is called Sweet Woodruff. And this one they just put out in the garden center. I hadn't seen it before. It was $3.88 for this thing here. This one is a perennial, so it'll come back. And they said that it will spread. So let's see if I can get this to focus for you guys. Yeah. Allow me enough space to fill in a border or woodland garden over time. And it's good to negative... 20 so it'll stay throughout the winter and come back next season hopefully so those are the plants I picked up let me show you what else I picked up so while I was at Home Depot looking at the plants I found some plant stakes and this was my original purpose in going there these were out in the garden center there's a section that has like stakes and things to tie plants up and then they have these labels here and these are almost exactly like the Target Dollar Spot ones, and I have one of those here to show you. The Target Dollar Spot ones are a little bit longer, and the metal's a little bit thicker, but if you can't find these, this is also a really good option. And these come in a four-pack for $2.50, so the price isn't bad either. And then while I was looking around, I saw these plant stakes or like garden stakes and this one actually is like a mini bird bath so you fill it with water um, and then they can just kind of like hang out around your flowers maybe butterflies I don't know but this was only $2.98 so I was really excited they have a whole bunch of those other like the bird ones and stuff too but I liked that this was just simple and plain so I've been looking for garden shears to try and deadhead my flowers because I've been doing like a ton of research on that stuff and finally I found some at the Dollar Tree along with some other items so the first thing I picked up was just a hose nozzle and I have one of these already but I have one that broke so I needed two so I picked up a second one so then I picked up some gardening shears this first one is a serrated pruning shear and this one here is just a serrated shear and I've been looking at one at Walmart it's by the brand Fiskars and it's like $10, but it's similar shape to this, like with the small cutting surface. Um, it's not serrated, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference. If anybody watching knows, um, like deadheading your flowers, if the serrated blade is going to kill them, please let me know before I go ahead and use this. And then while I was at Dollar Tree, I found this set of... They're just like plastic trays that go under your plants. It's a pack of six. And I got these because I had to bring them in one night. It got really cold. 
and I had nothing to set them on and I didn't want to ruin my dining room table so I had to use all my uh, Rubbermaid containers and then I had to get rid of them obviously because they had dirt in them so this will prevent that from happening and then the last item I picked up at Dollar Tree was this garden steak and it's just a patriotic design this was the last one they had so I don't know if they have other styles too but I thought it'd be really cute for the upcoming Memorial Day and July 4th and then the last thing I have to show you guys is from Walmart and that's kind of sticking in that 4th of July theme so they added these banners to their kind of like seasonal decor section the aisle where they used to have the Easter stuff and they're just alternating between these red and white stripes and the blue flags they're $6.88 I don't really know how big they are because I didn't open them um, I picked up two and I plan on using these on the front porch of my house the part that faces the street I'm kinda just gonna swag them along that but let me open it up and we'll see how long it is I counted I think nine flags in the store but hopefully it's long enough to do what I'm intending to do and these things are in here good it is felt backed so it may not hold up wonderful to the weather but for $7, if I get like an entire year out of it, that would be great. And then there's always the off chance that I could just paint it next year. So let's see. Alright, this is a really good size. So you can see that should stretch a decent amount of the porch on each side. And it's just simple and nice. I wanted to do one of those like flag sashes, it's almost like a semicircle, and then it's kind of like bunched up in the middle but I haven't been able to find one at a decent price so this is going to be perfect so thank you guys for watching my haul video I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it and if you have any advice on those gardening shears please let me know in the comment section mm -hmm.